Just the other day, one of my daughter's toys needed new batteries. Most dads out there can identify with this feeling and the, and the actions even that I took next. And I didn't feel like going downstairs to get a screwdriver. So I grabbed the butter knife from the kitchen drawer, unscrewed the screws, and replaced the batteries. And I used that same butter knife to put the screws back, and then voila, the toy worked again. But see, the lesson here is that even though the purpose for the butter knife was not to be a screwdriver, it was able to accomplish the task. But what I haven't yet mentioned is that the butter knife slipped out of my hand several times while I was screwing and unscrewing, and the handle wasn't comfortable to hold during the process either. And so for those of you who want to get technical, it wasn't, it wasn't ergonomically designed for the task. So although I was able to complete the task, it would have been better suited for the purpose for which it was designed, which is to butter or cut bread. And like that butter knife turned screwdriver, many of us are doing some things in life that we were not designed to do. We're able to do them and complete certain tasks and assignments, but those things aren't the things that God specifically designed and created us to do. So think about the gifts, the talents, the abilities that come naturally to you and ask yourself if there are truly being used to their highest degree. Are you utilizing all of your abilities or simply living life using your capabilities? In other words, as a human being, you and I are generally able to do many things, but that doesn't mean they are the things we need to or should be doing. It definitely doesn't mean it's what God created you to do. See, God doesn't do things just because he's bored. He doesn't, he doesn't do anything that isn't fully thought out and faithfully carried out. He's not schizophrenic. He won't call you to do something today and change his mind next week. He doesn't make mistakes or errors or blunders or mishaps, failures, flaws, or anything of that nature. Colossians 1 and 16 says how intentional and purposeful God is in his creation. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on the earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers, dominions, principalities. All things were created through him and for him. So if he designed you with specific talents, characteristics, gifts, and anointing to accomplish a certain purpose, then that is what he wants and needs you to do. And so often people try and fix themselves to fit a certain ideal of what they think they should look like or who they think they should be but they haven't consulted their heavenly manufacturer to understand his thought process in making them. You were created purposefully. You have been created on purpose with a purpose. Matter of fact, let's make that a consistent mantra in our life. Say it right now. I have been created on purpose with a purpose. At this point, you may feel like you spent so long doing the wrong thing that you can't get right. Rest assured, every day that you wake up is another opportunity to get it right. So maybe you even started the process a year ago and then got distracted or fell off for one reason or another. Maybe you put off your true purpose on hold or put your true purpose on hold or, or took that off your to-do list completely. But to you, I say one word, finish. In a world full of starters, be a finisher. You were born to produce a change in the earth. You were, the world needs your influence. It's easy to be frustrated with external influences. It's hard to affect change by being influential. So do the hard thing. So make a commitment to God, yourself, and the world to deliver what God has placed inside of you. Ecclesiastes 7 and 8 says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. But that's only true if the ending involves completion. Ask yourself, what was I birthed to birth? Hey, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on all the social media links listed and make sure you share this with somebody else. And most of all, make today a purpose-filled day. God bless.